Howdy y'all, it's Fireman Rabbit. Today we're gonna be going over compound walls and how to play some. If you guys have any issues with compound walls, I highly recommend going to a build server and practicing before going into your first wipe or any consequent wipes that you have after wanting to place the walls. Let's get into it. All right, guys, as you can see, we have our super fortified quadruple triple bunkered YouTube base that all the chads use. We've got a couple gatehouses. Now, when you go to place your walls, you're gonna notice some things. There are gonna be spots where it's red and where it's blue. When it's blue, you can place the wall in that area. When it's red, you cannot place it and you will get an error. Now, when you go to place your wall, you wanna minimize gaps and this can be slightly tricky. And so I recommend going to a build server to do it before you try it yourself. Personally, I like the stone walls, but wood walls are a lot cheaper and quicker option, and it's easier to tech tree to because it only takes a tier one, whereas a stone wall takes a tier two. They are quite expensive at 1500 wood or 1500 stone a piece. So factor that in to your base build when you're thinking about what kind of base you wanna build. Now. Like I said, I personally prefer stone walls, but they are also a lot harder to place than wood ones. Wood ones are a lot more agile, especially with the differences in terrain. You can place walls far away, or you can place it really close up. It's all your choice, but if you do it a little bit further away, kind of in between the thresholds, it'll be a little bit easier. So the main thing you wanna do is make sure there's no holes on that side. And then when you come to this side, it's going to clip onto the wall that's already placed. If you don't want it to do that, if you hold your left shift, it won't. So hold left shift, otherwise it will clip and you can only drag it on that clipped wall. Otherwise you hold left shift like this, it won't. And you see it's still blue so we can place. And what we're looking for is overlap in that center area and we make sure that it's clipping a little bit into this wall on the right side. Now, tiny holes, they're not gonna matter, but you can see that there's no major holes, so it will definitely protect very well for your base. Like I said, always practice your base builds if you are skeptical about placing them. I know some YouTube videos highly recommend to practice ahead of time to make sure that you can get that nice tight connection between your gatehouses. If you prefer not to have a gatehouse, you can always freehand. You put a gate up, or if you prefer, a stone gate. Stone is also a lot stronger. It takes more to destroy it, and I honestly think it looks a little bit cleaner, although it does cost. One of the things you're going to have to worry about, especially with stone walls, is the terrain. It's very, very difficult to place, especially on big hills. So you have to be conscientious about where you're putting your gates because it can cause a lot of issues. Now, in those areas where the stone wall will have issue, you can always use a wood wall instead. Because wood walls, as I stated, are a lot more lenient when it comes to placing. And if you guys ever mess up, you can go out and then come back in and it will look a little bit ugly, but it'll still protect that entire area. The one cool thing about compound walls is as long as it is in any TC radius, doesn't matter if it's yours or someone else's, if it's within a tool cupboard radius, it will not decay. The second that you go and do it outside of tool cupboard radius, it will start to decay. They do this because they don't want the entire map just spammed with walls. So if you're doing first, second, or third compound layers, make sure to do external TCs. If you guys are gonna be placing your walls super close together, I recommend standing between the two walls. So then you make sure that you can run in between the different layers and you won't have any issues with it connecting or anything like that. Some people also will open up their door and do a little airlock by clipping it in between. 
then you can close your door and no one can stand in between now i don't recommend doing this unless you practice it because again if you mess up you're kind of sol and you'll have to either burn or break it down it all is about finesse when it comes to compound walls And that's it for today, guys. If you have any questions or concerns, make sure to drop them in the comments. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you on the next one. Fireman Rabbit out.